Hi everybody, this is Lars Vemir for Nukipedia, and welcome to volume 4 of our video series, Useful Nukipedia Tools. Today's video is about the GeoTracker beta by Keen Tools. This is the link where you can find the GeoTracker beta on Nukipedia. Let me show you how it works. First, you need to connect your footage, a camera, and the geometry you want to track with to the GeoTracker node. Then you need to pre-analyze your footage. One way you can do that is to simply copy the file path of your footage into this field and give your footage the extension pre-calc. And then you just have to click on Analyze. The reason for this is the speed of the GeoTracker once the file has been analyzed. The guys from Keen Tools did something very smart here. Because other software packages that also feature geometry tracking do the analyzing of the optical flow and the geometry tracking at the same time. That means it's not as fast as it could be while you're working on your geometry track. With the GeoTracker beta from Keen Tools, you can separate these two tasks. That means if you have many shots that need to be tracked with geometry, you can just let Nuke analyze the files overnight. And once the pre-calculation is done, the actual geometry track is super fast, which means that you can concentrate on refining your results instead of waiting for it all the time. I can just point to the finished pre-calc file. Then you can use these so-called control points to align your geo properly by just clicking and dragging the model. To delete a pinpoint, you just have to right click on it. Or you can click on unpin to delete all of the control points. So let me just take a moment to position this geo the right way. Once you're done, you can start the tracking process by clicking on this button right here. You can also refine your geo track by setting some keyframes and realigning your geo, dragging the time slider between your keyframes and clicking on refine. Another quality control mechanism is the center view function which centers your geo so you can easily spot any sliding issues. Once you're happy with the results, you can create a transform geo node that represents your geo track by going to the results tab and clicking on export. Since link output is activated, the geo tracker node is now dynamically connected to the transform geo node, which can be helpful if you want to further refine the position and rotation values of your geometry track. If you deactivate link output and click on export again, you'll get a transform geo node with the baked position and rotation data. All right, that's it for this episode. If you have any tool suggestions, just send an email to admin at nukipedia.com. Again, my name is Lars Vemje. Thanks for watching and goodbye, everybody.